experience the sights, sounds, and flavors of Pike Place Market with the help of local chefs. Alan Taylor got a sneak peek of the Eat Seattle tour. All right, if you're a local, you like coming to Pike Place Market because this is, you know, a little place, piece of home. If you're a local, you're also probably bringing some of your out-of-town friends and family to come check out the iconic spot. And this is also a place where if you're a local or even a tourist and you want to see something you've never seen before, you want to jump on the Eat Seattle tour train. It's not an actual train, but my friend Chef Liz is here, and she is the owner of Eat Seattle, which takes you step-by-step -step through places in the market. We're grabbing ingredients for this recipe that we're making, and you're going to teach us how to make it. What are we making though? We are making a chicken roulade mm. and it's stuffed with Beecher's cheese curtains. Because you can't have a Seattle icon dish without some Beecher's cheese. So, okay, let's let's talk about what we got here. So this is the cheese curd. A cheese curd is a fresh cheese, meaning it was just just created from here, from right here in Pike Place Market. And the great thing about this is it doesn't melt. So what it's going to do, it's going to lie in the center of our chicken. Okay. And once it's fully cooked and we cut it open and we spread it open, you just see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be all melty. You can use the flagship and if you want a melty cheese. Sure. But this adds a little bit of texture and then there's a little bit of acidity which really brings the dish together. Now Chef Liz, I got to ask the question that a lot of people are thinking, you know what, when I come to the market, everything in Seattle itself is super expensive. What do you say to someone who's like, I got to cook on a budget? I love that you say that because these are some of the best ingredients you can possibly find and I would actually say they're affordable for what they are. So that price to quality ratio mm -hmm. is totally in our benefit. There's a community of people who live here in the market. They're trying to serve them. The second they push that community out, it's a fail. So these are priced in a way that encourages people to come and try them. Um, and you had mentioned also about like the vegetables and stuff that we found yeah. earlier, which it, it's less expensive to buy them from the growers themselves, right, when they're in season? Yeah, it is because we have so much production. It's less of a carbon footprint. Uh, it's less expensive because we have all these cherries. We have to move those cherries before they go bad. Right. So they are more affordable. Yes, so if you want to get this recipe, uh, you can go over to q13fox.com slash Ellen, or you can take the tour with Chef Liz or any of her other four counterparts. She's got five chefs who do these tours with Eat Seattle, and they will take you through the market step by step. They even have a chocolate and coffee tour, which I'm trying to see if maybe she'll take me on another day. But in the meantime, you can get that recipe or get all the details you need on Chef Liz and Eat Seattle up on our website. As always, all the info is there. Guys?